everybody and welcome uh, day three, our final day of the Kindness Connection Challenge. Uh, got some more great stuff in store for you today. Uh, and as, <clears throat> as we normally do, I'm going to introduce Jill because there are some of you who haven't been able to join us the last couple of days. So Jill Lublin is an international speaker on the topics of radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. She is the author of four best-selling books, including Get Notice, Get Referrals, Guerrilla Publicity, and Networking Magic. Her latest book, The Prophet of Kindness, went number one in four categories. Jill is a master strategist on how to position your business for more profitability and more visibility in the marketplace. She is the CEO of a strategic consulting firm and has over 25 years experience working with over 100,000 people, plus the national and international media. Jill teaches a virtual publicity crash course, and she consults and speaks all over the world. She's spoken on many stages with luminaries such as Tony Robbins. She also helps authors to create book deals with major publishers and agents, as well as to obtain foreign rights deals. So Jill, take it away for day three. You're on mute. All right, welcome to day three. Let's give ourselves cheers for just showing up and being kind. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, Helen Keller said it best, and that is the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Yes, can you feel kindness? Yes, I'm sure you can. Give me a, give me a heart's back if you can feel when people are kind. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for that. So true, isn't it? Now, I know um, I'd like to just do a recap of some of the values. And Mary Beth, let's, let's show them the slides and just welcome back. So glad that you're here and participating. And it's just super fun to have all of you consistently connected to kindness. So, so super glad to see your faces today. All right, my friends. Here are the wonderful, hang on one second, I'm having just a, a bit of a moment of technical difficulty, bear with me. Okay, thank you. Here are the seven pathways to kindness. So write these down, take a screenshot of it. One of the women in my kind, year of kindness, uh, which some of you have joined already and I welcome you and I'll invite you again today to join. Uh, but one of my women in the year of kindness, she said, Jill, I took a picture of this the first month and every day I look at it and I practice something from it, just something so that I'm staying conscious about kindness. So the seven pathways to kindness are generosity, compassion, gratitude, positivity, flexibility, patience, and connection. Just reflect on that for a moment, look at that, and see what might, you know, resonate for you today. What can you be more of? What can you be more of today? Practice that. Let's see what happens. So that's super fun. Do me a favor, actually, type it in the chat. What could you be more of today? What can you practice more of today? Type it in the chat. Let's see. I want to see from you. By the way, I brought Tinkerbell today, Tinkerbell Cup. <laughs> Every day has new themes for me. Flexibility, thank you, Mike. Mike, I'll see you on the kindness circle in an hour. So excited. Positivity, Margo, thank you. Jane, being present and kind. Yvonne, compassion for self. Yes, thank you. Kathleen, connection, wonderful. And Pat, connection. Judy, generosity, beautiful. Thank you. And um, I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, the wonderful woman with the S, you're going to practice patience, although I'd love to hear how your name is pronounced. That'll be fun. Flexibility, Joan, thank you. Gillian, compassion, absolutely, thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. What will you practice today? You know, I, I think there's always opportunities to practice, isn't there, right? That's why they call it practice. <laughs> 
I, I remember being really struck, and I, I, I know I'll just share this with you. Um, I shared a little bit that one of my spiritual teachers, he talks about spiritual practice and, you know, that if we were perfect, they wouldn't call it practice, right? It is a practice. So is kindness. And, you know, what? I was just reflecting. I know I shared the story about um, Jane Goodall. And when I ran the State of the World Forum is what the event was called. And we literally had people from all around the world in conversations that transformed the world. That was our tagline. We had Queen Noor, we had Jane Goodall, we had major astronauts and politicians, and it was truly an amazing event. And I was sharing something about Jane yesterday and, and also sharing that I ran the press room there and it was really, really an honor and a blessing. But let me tell you another story. <laughs> it doesn't have to do with kindness, but it's just fun. And that is one of the other luminaries was Patch Adams. I'm sure you've all heard of him. They made a movie about him. So Patch is kind of a wild man, just saying. And uh, Patch decided that he was going to um, not only speak at our event, but he was gonna lead a march down Van Ness Avenue. And anyone who's been to San Francisco, you know that that's one of the major avenues in San Francisco. He decided he was gonna march against nuclear arms. Now, hey, that's a great thing. But guess it what? It's Patch. So he decided to do it naked. So he says in the press room, I'm going to get naked. Who's coming with me? <laughs> and I swear he had about 30 people behind him walking down Van Ness Avenue naked in protest about nuclear arms. Well, you know, there's many ways to make media. But let me just say they got a lot of media. In fact, CBS picked it up. Um, not only locally, the local affiliate, but then one thing some of you might know is that uh, bigger news news items or new, what would I call news agencies, they actually um, look at the feed for everyone else. So next thing I know, David Letterman that night is featuring Patch Adams walking naked. He didn't show the whole thing. Down Van Ness. <laughs> Can you imagine? Anyway, it's a heck of a way to get press, but I don't recommend it. Just saying. <laughs> um, so that was really wild. And uh, yes, it is a very busy street. And believe me, he caused a lot of uproar, though I don't think anyone really recognized him, but that's okay. <laughs> I still have the pictures, but that's another story. <laughs> Anyway, great fun, great fun. But you know, it's interesting. I was reflecting on that event because somehow it came into my consciousness yesterday about State of the World Forum and that there we were in, you know, probably 20 years ago. I should look up, I actually have the program here and uh, some things from it because it was a very, very special event. Uh, that actually <laughs> happened for five years in San Francisco called State of the World Forum. And I was thinking about the kindness and and the generosity and what they actually created and connected for people. And actually what we featured was really kindness. You know, we called it something else. We called it conversations that transformed. But what does kindness do? Do you think kindness transforms conversations? Raise your hand if you think it does. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, it does, it absolutely does. So. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so then uh, we were talking about practicing, and I. This is my invitation to you always, right? Is practice a conscious act of kindness every single day, and I don't mean a random act. Let me just be clear, okay? Now in February, I know it's Random Acts of Kindness Month, and we do publicity for that. November 13th is World Kindness Day. That's beautiful. Those of you, by the way, in my year of kindness, you're coming in as my guest to the Kindness Summit. Mark it on your calendars, November 13th, 9 to noon. And even if you're not joining the whole year of kindness, you can still be part of that. Okay? So just saying that. Um, and then uh, that's 9 to noon Pacific. Okay? Mary Beth, post that in the chat just so everybody calendars that. And then additionally, um, what you know, what I'm looking at is when you're practicing that conscious act of kindness, how does that just feel in the giving, in the in the receiving? Because I, I think you actually receive a lot when you give kindness. And think about that for a minute, right? That we receive a lot when we give kindness. And if we don't, we don't. Sometimes you just do something because it's the right thing to do, because it's the kind thing to do. Remember the story yesterday about Panera Bread. The woman made 
the gentleman, the grandson, clam chowder on a Friday, uh, excuse me, on a Tuesday, even though it's normally made on Friday because it was the right thing to do, right? And she, she basically disobeyed all their policies <laughs> and she just said yes. So the point is that we must focus on conscious acts of kindness every day. So to that extent, here's what I'd love. Would you please share uh, some stories about your conscious act of kindness? It could be yesterday, or maybe it could be in the last week, something that you did more recently. I'd love for you to share some uh, conscious acts of kindness. Who'd like to share? And in the sharing, what's beautiful is it helps reflect the feeling back to you. Who'd like to share? Raise your hand in the Hollywood Square. I see Carol, I see Mike, I see Gillian. Let's start with those three and Margo, you'll be number four. All right. Mary Beth, did you catch them in order? <laughs> um, go ahead and spotlight our first sharer of a conscious act of kindness. Who was it? Raise your hand. I saw you first. Thank you, Carol. Let's spotlight Carol first. He is spotlighted. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Can't oh. always tell. Thank you. So a couple of days ago, I learned that my neighbor's husband um, all right. As COVID, and she had already had it. They both had had vaccinations and so on. But anyway, um, I know that that he likes chocolate. Um, so last night I just made up a big batch of nice thick chocolate loaded chocolate chip cookies and dropped them over. And uh, I put them on the front porch first. But the sun is out there in the morning, so I moved them to the back so the chocolate doesn't melt. So anyway, but those are. Uh, and the rest of the batch will go to a neighbor across the street whose wife died about a year ago, and he oh. just loves little snacks. And uh, so when he sees me coming, I get called the snack lady. But it's uh, there's a lot of folks in our neighborhood that are um, either as old as I am or older. And, and how uh, old are you, Carol? 82. Woohoo! So uh, so, her. So um, but in any event, it's it's just... It just feels good to do things nice for people, no matter what it is or where it is. So spontaneously, it's it's super to be able to to just do something at, at one point or another for anybody. Have a shoulder available or a hand available or whatever, just to make somebody else's day a little bit nicer. That's it. Thank you, Carol. Thank you so much for your conscious act of kindness. And we'll see you later today, actually. Hey, yes. Gillian. <laughs> Gillian, welcome, welcome. I think it was Gillian next. Welcome in. Yes. What was your conscious act of kindness? You're on mute. So I, I'm actually going to take the liberty of not uh, putting it right into the, the conscious act of kindness. But I wanted to share this, which may be kind to everybody listening. But years ago, I met you, Jill, at a conference, women's conference, uh, California conference, one of them, and I purchased your book and oops, and uh, you signed it. So I read it then, and this was, gosh, maybe, I don't know when that was, eight, nine years ago, and read it. And I clearly absorbed a lot because I started reading it again a few days ago. And I can't believe that actually what you have in the book, I totally put into practice, unconsciously perhaps, um, and then developed this huge fundraising event that I do um, in Temecula, California, and it's been huge. So I'm not going to go into that, but I want everybody to know if you're looking for a book, if you haven't read it, do get at least this one of Jill's books, because it's amazing all the, um, the, the, the tips, the ideas that you're probably doing already. However, if you're not, put some of those into practice. So thank you for that, and I'm enjoying reading it again. And it'll take me over the pandemic years and into the next uh, 10 years thank you you're welcome hey thank you gillian and you know what by the way gorilla publicity third edition my darling i we see that it's a different color <laughs> <laughs> we've got a third edition thank you so much for that kind comment i appreciate it thank you now let's see who is next i think did i call on who is next mary beth and you're on mute Mike Stewart. Perfect. Welcome, Mike. Hey, Jill. Yeah, um, just taking on the challenge on Monday, we went out to lunch and I just, the, the waitress was so uh, generous with her time and paid so much attention. So 
I just felt compelled to give her a, a very, very generous tip. So. Oh, that's beautiful. I know, you know, it's interesting around tipping, isn't it? Because obviously it's an expectation. Yeah. Um, but it is always interesting to me, like, where can I be extra kind? Maybe it's a housekeeper yeah. somewhere, right? At a hotel or a waitress or. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm sure you made her day. Yeah. So thanks. Oh, thank you. And I think we had one more Margot, right? Margo. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday I um, drove through a fast food place and, and um, ordered a hamburger, but the lady told me that they were two for $7 or whatever. So I, I'm thinking, I don't need two hamburgers, but um, I happened to catch out of the corner of my eye, a guy sitting on the sidewalk with a sign. So I said, sure, I'll take two. And as I drove out, I rolled down the window and handed him the other sandwich. So um, the funny part was, um, is that I ordered an impossible burger, which is a plant-based. And when I handed it to him, he saw the wrapper and he went, oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> they can try to be kind, but yeah. that's fine, right? <laughs> that's funny. No, I'm laughing because one time I handed somebody, uh, you know, a, a person similarly and I handed them something and I, they didn't like it either. I'm like, OK, sorry. You know, it's OK. Pass it on. I said, <laughs> thank you, Margo. Great to be kind. And, you know, one of the things I do, I'll just share with you. And if this works for some of you, listen, I go to the dollar store and Costco and I get um, little prepared cans of tuna and different things that people can open quickly or I'll bag together some nuts and fruit and I start giving those away and I keep them in the car so it's just easy and simple and that I can just reach for something quickly and then all the things you know frankly like I, I think I was at a hotel and they gave me whatever something you know maybe one of those granola bars I always keep extras of those to also give away um, so that's just something you know be in the practice of but it's just easy to connect and collect those things to easily give away to others. So um, that's something because, you know, frankly, one thing, um, I don't know if, you know, I'm sure you know, but it's it's not just about giving it Thanksgiving and holidays. The question is how can we keep consciously kind every single day, every single day. So speaking of that, we talked yesterday about the opportunity for, you know, which company do you think is kind? and practicing kindness and I asked you to reflect on that a little bit and then frankly in your own company where are you kind what are you doing that's kind right and how can you be more kind uh, so just going to pose that question again right and um, with that what I'd love you to do maybe just um, reflect a little bit any companies that you see are just kind and doing kind things Raise your hand if you're noticing something. Raise your hand if you notice. I noticed Honda was running kindness commercials, which I thought was super great. Who's noticed something about kindness? Pat, through a company, please. And then in your breakouts, we're going to talk about that, but also in your company, what are you doing? And anyone else want to contribute? Raise your hand in the Hollywood Squares or raise your hand in the reactions because we can see them better. Um, go, Mary Beth, do you see any more? Any more sharing on that? Okay, let's let's uh, Yvonne. I see Yvonne. Um, let's go start with Pat. This is about other companies. What are you noticing? Kaiser Permanente, where we have our medical care. I am always met with kindness, um, and it's a, a state of heart, and it's a follow through with action. And we have been using them a lot lately, um, but it is always with the friendliness and that they have looked at our record and they're prepared for me, kindly prepared. So it's going to be hard when we move across country to leave them behind. Very right. hard. Oh, yes. Noticeably that they're kind and they're good to you. Thank they you. are very good to us. And do you want the other part of it too? Because I had a big aha a few minutes ago. Go ahead. Um, I'm a writer and I often get stuck in, will this work? Will this come back? And, you know, all the 
everything that can go wrong. And I just got it that the biggest kindness I can do is just pour out what's in my heart and throw away the worry about how it will be received. Mm, yes, I think I think for everyone, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Very Thank you. Yeah. All right, Yvonne, which company have you noticed being kind? I want to second uh, Pat's uh, mention of Kaiser. Um, I had a new doctor yesterday, and I needed to make a, to get a specialist. And um, I had a phone call with this new doctor, and her manner, I, I, it was like a hundred percent. You know, I mean, a ten out of ten. She was so kind, and uh, and I just felt this instant rapport. And it was like at the end, I said, I can't wait to meet you. <laughs> Oh. And other, the other, but to have an original one, um, Rob Goyette, I can't remember his business name. It's something, oh, it doesn't matter because he's in this, he's a coach and he has zillions of clients. But one thing that I've noticed that when I uh, sign up for something using his link, the amount of uh, bonuses, I guess you call them, that he sends is so overwhelming that it quadruples, if not more, the value of what I spent. But it's more than that. When you see him on video, he just exudes kindness and gentleness and um, and and he's just into value. And I, I'm, there are other entrepreneurs like that that are in the coaching field these days. Um, I'm, I'm very pleased to see this kind of kind of um, business philosophy but it comes so from the heart and so i just wanted to share that thank you for that thank you for that yvonne you know i think um i think it's it's important and mary beth let's unspotlight i think it's important that we focus on uh what's going on with not only the marketplace today because the truth is kindness is everything it is it's just everything um, and trust is important, right? And heart, like Yvonne, you said, right? It's, you know, putting heart into things and showing your heart. I, I think honestly, there's been other times in our profession and our worlds where maybe that wasn't so important, but as we come through this pandemic and uh, realize some of the important values, right? That's why I think more heart, like it, like what you're talking about, is absolutely showing. You know, I, I have to tell you, God inspired me to do these uh, kindness connection, as we're calling this next year, and this year of kindness, as we're uh, finishing up our first year. Inspired this when the prophet of kindness actually came out. That was 2017, and there we were in 2020. And I remember Mary Beth and and I, we had a staff meeting and lockdown was happening and I she's like what are we going to do and you know all my speaking engagements were canceling and uh, we had to switch all the uh, publicity courses that were live to virtual and everything that all of us you know were doing and I remember saying we're going to do the year of kindness and we're going to start it this year and that was last year right and now we're close to 200 strong which is very exciting very exciting um, but I will tell you you know I just think you have to pay attention so what are those whispers? What are you being told to do? In my case, it's, you know, do, do the kindness connection, as we're calling it for this year. What are you inspired to do? So what I want to ask you in breakouts is how could you, um, let me just think about this for a minute. How could you really incorporate kindness into your business? Let's, let's have it be a business conversation if you're still in business. I think most of you are, as I look around. Um, and, you know, what could you do? What could you do? All right? So how can it be more present in your business? That's the question. And what will you do to make it so? What will you do to make it so? Because, you know, we can talk about this. But until it becomes a reality, actually, in an action, then we can just, you know, call it a nice idea. 
but you know me, any of you who know me, and some of you don't, you'll find out that I am, you know, action oriented. I want real results. I want things to, to manifest in, in true form. And so with that, um, I want you to take a look at what could you be doing to make, to make, uh, we'll say conscious acts of kindness in your business. Um, and I will repeat, if I might, that uh, I am gifting a nonprofit into my course, my virtual publicity course. It's happening in November. We have October Phil um, with somebody who responded from this group. Thank you. And uh, we are looking for November's nonprofit. So if you have a nonprofit or know of one, meaning that, would you do me a favor, email excuse me, private chat, Mary Beth, and tell her the name. And then Mary Beth, post in the chat right now our email. And I'm going to have you ask them to please email us. Because frankly, you know what it's like, right? So I want them to email us and say, we're looking, you know, we were told about a possibility for a seat in your virtual publicity course. Um, we would love to take that. And then Mary Beth and I, you know, talk about that, and make sure it's the right fit. Okay. So our next courses are November 9th. And when's the next one, Mary Beth? Uh, put, just post it in the chat. November 23rd. Beautiful. November 9th and November 23rd. It's beautiful. So that's just putting out there. That's what we're looking for. And we would appreciate some support in that because it takes a village to help other villages. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Um, so remember, you're going to your breakout. We're going to give you... Do, 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 do. 15 minutes, Mary Beth, 15 minutes. <clears throat> Groups of probably at least five would be great. Um, what I'd like you to do is talk about in your business, what are you doing to manifest kindness? What are you committed to? And this is a no kidding commitment. Sometimes it will cost you money and time. Just saying. I know it's done that for us, even finding nonprofits, by the way. Just, you know, that's what I've noticed. So um, put it into your business, put it into your life and here's, and talk about what you can do. You'll have, um, let's make it two minutes each. The timekeeper will be the one with the longest hair and the one to go first is the shortest hair. And so timekeeper, do me a favor, hold up your phone and, and say time <laughs> because you know how it is when we're excited about what we do and who's excited about what they do, come on, come on. <laughs> Yes, yes, because here's where you get to demonstrate it. And of course, say who you are, say what you do. In my space, connections occur. And so that's part of what our, our year of kindness is we always create connections for each other. Okay, so I want that to happen here too. All right, everybody's clear? Give me a thumbs up if you're clear. Excellent day, Mary Beth. Let's put them into breakouts and have fun everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing excellent. Was that fun? Come on. Give me a give me a woohoo. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Let's take some shares and we'll take uh three shares. Who's got them? Raise your hand in the chat. Raise your hand in the Hollywood Square either one. Let's see if we can take some shares, please. I see Dawn Marie. That's one. Excellent. Thank you. Who else? Come on, let's share. Maria, is that a hand raise? All right, and Dustin. All right, we've got Dawn Marie, Maria, and Dustin. Go for it. Let's bring up Dawn, Dawn Marie first. Hi, everyone. Good morning. It's really a pleasure to be here with everyone. What I'm finding over the last three days is that I'm I'm speaking with a lot of people who are already kind. And I suppose that you would have to be kind to be attracted to something like this by nature. Um, and so most people are already incorporating kindness naturally into what they do. So thank you for helping me be aware of that. Jill. Oh, you are so welcome and I'm glad and I'm glad. Yes, I know. We tend to attract good and kind people, um, <laughs> or at least people who know that maybe that's the next step, you know. But here's what I know, that everybody in my kindness connection and your kindness, you know what happens? Ripples. Mm. Like today's meeting, you know what happens? Ripples, right? Right. And I can so, see that. 
Yeah, with that, that's yeah. the power of that. Thank, Thank you. Don. Thank you, Don Marie. Beautiful. And Mary Beth, let's bring up contestant number two <laughs> on kindness is the right action. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Mary Beth? You got Marla. it? Beautiful. Okay, good. All right. Uh, terrific. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. This has really been fun. It's my first time in your community. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, it's terrific. And I have a 20 year career in PR, so I really understand you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And I have your book, so it's it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, what I noticed actually today, which was terrific, is I went, you know, you know, energy goes where focus or focus goes where energy goes, whatever that saying is. Why not? I made a note to myself. Why not look for companies that stand for can, uh, kindness from everything from on social media to wherever and ads and so forth. So it's also a great conversation I'm going to do on social, right, is I'm going to post that conversation about have you noticed any companies in businesses, right? that are exuding kindness in how they operate. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, a wonderful kind of mindset shift. To oh, start I love that. Yeah, start looking for that and that's a great way to spread it. Oh, I love that. Thank you for that. And please do post and everyone please post about this. You remind me about that Marla to just yeah. post about it, you know, because look at, you know, the reality is you're in charge of your own space and of supporting others, yeah. right? That's Thank right. you for that. Thank, Thank you for that. Of course. All right, and next up is Dustin. Hopefully, Dustin, we've got some sound today. <laughs> yeah, I am totally fresh on uh, Zoom, but um, I, I would like to make a little bit of a comment of like uh, the recovery communities and people struggling. There's a huge opportunity for people there to give them something to keep them improving and stuff. So keep that in mind. But I wanted to, when you showed that karma rock thing, I have last, last summer, I was going to do good karma rocks. It's like uh, one of those key things or something like where you can put something in it, you know? And yeah. And I was like, Oh my goodness. Cause um, this good karma rocks is an idea of just like putting things in a thing and just leaving it around, you know, and then seeing what people could do. But that, yeah, that's, that's all I kind of wanted to say. But oh, I thank love you that. so much. I was so excited when I found out your book was coming out. I was like, oh, yes, that was back in 2017. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you for you. Thank you for you. You're so welcome. Honestly. Thank you for you. Thank you. You know, um, I love the, the karma rocks. I'll just tell you, uh, cause I love nature and hiking. And, and recently I was on a hike in uh, Nevada, California, where I live and I saw some of those rocks. And in fact, one of them said, be kind. And it was everything I could do. I didn't pick it up or take it, just say it, <laughs> but I was tempted. Anyway, it was so precious little rocks all along the path. Exactly what you're talking about, Dustin. One of them saying, be kind. I thought that was super fun, super fun you know, and, and just really amazing to, to just see that. Right. And I think that's really um, important that we look at what are we doing to create kindness? What are we doing? So speaking of what we're doing, I just tell you, I am doing a year of kindness. We're going to call it the kindness connection this year. Some of you are in it already. Raise your hands. If you're in it already, come on, come on, come on. I'm super excited. Thank you to have you. For those of you who haven't yet registered, Mary Beth, let's show them what is possible here. And then we're gonna give you a special prize, all of you. Um, so here's the thing we're gonna do, it's called the Kind Kindness Connection. And we are going to um, have it for this year starting, well, it could even start in one hour for some of you, but it's the third Wednesday of every month we meet for an hour. It'll start whenever it's good for you. We have incredible celebrity guests like Bob Berg, author of The Go-Giver, John Assaroff, who's a major mindset, incredible man, Marcy Shimoff, who wrote um, Chicken Soup for the Mother's Soul, has been featured on Oprah. And literally, you're going to give and receive 
leads for your business every single time. We're going to break into breakouts usually twice, actually every time twice in our circle so that you can receive and give leads for your business. And then we have a Skillshare directory, which we share with the whole community and lots of other surprises and bonuses and things we give you throughout the year as special gifts. So just so you know, um, the community is 197 to join. And uh, what we're including this time for you is our bonus summit, which is happening November 13th in honor of World Kindness Day. We're coming together from nine to noon in amazing opportunities to just be with each other, hear from luminaries for like 10, 15 minute TED talk kind of stuff. And then we actually have lots of circles and also more fun interaction where you are in a community of kindness. Last year, we had 120 people attend, okay? So you're gonna have lots of great connections because I will repeat in my space, connections happen and miracles occur. So let's be part of a community together. I will tell you if you'd like to come to either or one of those, that's fine. Your $97 investment, which is like super affordable, because frankly, uh, I'm giving you all those bonuses, including my book, The Prophet of Kindness. So you'll get the Year of Kindness community. You'll get the summit in honor of World Kindness Day and my book, The Prophet of Kindness. The total value on everything, my friends, is 414 literally today, and today is the last day of the offer, it's only $97. And so um, anyone who's been in my year of kindness, you can vouch for that's an amazing value. And super excited to offer it to all of you. How you register is you go to jilllublin.com slash year of kindness. So it's in the chat, please take a moment, go click the link and let's have you join us for a year of kindness because my friends, if you're looking for a sign, just be kind, this is it. <laughs> if you're looking for a sign, just be kind, this is it. Here's your sign. <laughs> and today is the day to be kind to yourself. Today is the day to join our community, to connect, to continue this, and to um, experience this literally every single month, the power of what this is, the power of the heart, the power of kindness, and the power in business. All right, my friends. So with that, here's what I'd like to do next is actually give, well, before I give away something, let's take a photo. <laughs> let's take a photo. Everybody hold up something if you would like. Clint, get ready. Come on. Let's go to gallery view, Mary Beth. Perfect. And uh, those of you who aren't on camera, maybe you can come on camera. Come on camera for a moment. Whoops, there we go. <laughs> Here's my sign, I'm sticking to it. All right, Don Marie, if you can come on camera, John or Trent, fabulous. All right, let's look at the camera and Clint, give us a countdown so we keep our smiles going. Yeah, in three, two. Okay. Let's do a couple. All right, one more. In three, two. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Clint. You know, um, and thank you to Mary Beth who helped me run everything behind the scenes. Can we give them a woo, woo, woo? <laughs> and I just want to thank all of you for, you know, really being here and being kind and staying connected. And I'd like to give away a book, The Prophet of Kindness. Clint, can we spin the wheel? You have to be present to win because that's the rule of life, isn't it? You must be present to win. Okay, so starting now. Oh! I know I've seen Ellen, but I don't think she's here today. She here today? No? All right. Go again on the wheel. Let's go again on the wheel. Wow, 
congratulations that you have to come on camera and tell me how to pronounce your name. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's Sibongile. Sibongile. And you can call me Sibo. Sibo, wonderful, Sibo. Thank you. And congratulations you. on winning the book. Thank you. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. And so everybody, if if well, if I had a magic wand. What? Oh my gosh, I have a magic wand. <laughs> yeah, every girl should have one. Every guy should have one. Just saying, you never know when you could use it. I would actually wish for the power of kindness to be instilled in each one of you to walk it, to be it, to be seen as it, to uh, really integrate it into your life. And so with that, I really thank you again for being here with us in this challenge, for spreading the word. I'm so excited for those of you who are joining the community with us. Uh, super excited for you to be with us. You'll be networking all the time uh, in our community, just so you know that. That's one of my commitments that we always network and we create connection and kindness ongoingly. So I found this quote from a wonderful man who said, kindness is love made visible. Kindness is love made visible. So this is my thought for you today. Go forth, be kind, and I'll see you in the year of kindness. Ciao, everyone. Bye.